Hello and welcome to my photo editing tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to turn this picture into this. And yes, that's me. Albeit not a very flattering picture, but I had to use somebody's picture. <laughs> Alright, so um, the first thing you want to do is of course open your picture. <laughs> Once you have your picture open, you want to go ahead and right click on your background layer and duplicate. Alright. Once you have that done, go ahead up to adjust and click one step noise removal. And wait for that to finish. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Then go ahead back to adjust. Go to add remove noise and click on the speckle. Okay. Then go back up to adjust, add remove noise, and click on the salt and pepper filter. And set it to 5-5 five, five, and include all lower spec sizes. Okay. Once you have that done, go back up to adjust. Go to blur. Gaussian Blur and Blur by 5. Now the picture doesn't look too good, right? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> okay, once you have um, blurred it, go ahead and right click on your layer and click on New Mask Layer and click on From Image. Now if you have more than one image open, you're going to have a choice, but um, the one that's picked is usually the right one. So click OK. Okay, and there you go. You have your mask from that layer, from that picture. Next thing you want to do is pick your brush and set the color to black, the foreground color to black. Make sure your blend mode is normal. Uh, set the hardness to zero and the size you can pretty much play around with as you like. Next you want to go ahead and zoom in on the features like the eyes. Make sure that you have your mask layer highlighted and then you want to go ahead and paint over the eye with the paintbrush. Let's see how it um it brings out the eye more. So go ahead and paint over the eye over the eyebrows. I'm just going to sharpen them. And over the lips. Which it makes it look like I have lip gloss on, which I don't. And you want to do the nose a little bit to add a little bit of texture to it, you know. You can go ahead and do that too. I personally I'm just gonna add here here we go so there we go next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and add some noise to texture it so go ahead and click on your bottom layer and go to adjust add remove noise add noise and add a noise of four percent uniform and monochrome this is going to do is just add a little bit of texture. Then on your mask layer, go ahead and right click, merge, merge group. And then you want to go ahead and add noise to that layer too. And add the same exact noise. So your picture should look something like this. Then you want to merge down. So you have one picture. Then go up to effects. And for this, you're going to need a plugin called Virtual Photographer which you can get at opticverbslabs.com and I usually use the radiant setting and what I do is I lower the softness to 50 and then process and there you go you have your photo edit picture pretty cool huh and then from here on you can go ahead and just add any other effects you want you can change the eye color 
Um, what I didn't do here that I did in the other one is my hair. I didn't um, colorize it, which to do that you just use your toothbrush. I mean your toothbrush. <laughs> your brush, your paintbrush, my bad. And set it to hue. And then pick a color, which I had used red, any red. Because my hair is red, it just doesn't really show too much there. And just paint over the hair area. And it'll add a little bit of a hue. Since my hair is so dark, you can barely tell. But it just adds that hue. A hint of red. <laughs> And there you have it. You can colorize the eyes if you want, which to do that, you just click on a new layer, use your brush, and choose a smaller size. Whoops. Okay. Pick your color, which I'm going to do blue. You want to get real close. And you want to paint over it. Now I still have my hardness set to zero. So you can just blotch and then set the, the blend mode to, you can do dodge for a nice effect. Just get your eraser tool to delete any areas that you don't like. Which is a set too big. And you can play around with the settings too. You don't have to use dodge for this dramatic effect. You can use um, overlay. Or, I don't know, let me try a few now. Let me just fix my eye. You can set it to overlay. Nah, this doesn't work. Screen. I think dodge is really the best one. You can set it to color. I think it's more realistic, right? And just use your, your I was about to say toothbrush again. Use your paintbrush to erase all that other blue stuff that you don't need. Or green or whatever color you're using. Another way to, to color your eyes without this mess is to just use the selection tool. The reason I don't use it is because I suck at it. It's easier for me to just use the paintbrush and delete any little mistakes I make or big ones. And there you have it. I think I've already stretched this tutorial out enough. <laughs> I just keep remembering stuff. Alright, then you just go ahead and merge down. And save. And that is how you do a photo edit my way. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, it is pretty easy and it makes all your pictures look really nice. I mean, as you can see from where I started which let me go ahead and show you my before and after again in case you forgot <laughs> let me go all the way back you know what let me just close this okay this is the original and this is the edit huge difference if you ask me so, if you have any questions, yeah, ask. Now I'll let you get to it. 